Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you an easy but effective way to create sizzling hot text. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Make sure your foreground color is black and then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill this layer with black. Call up your type tool and click on your character text box. Choose any font you'd like, however I'm choosing a font called Sakal Majala which you can download for free at fontzone.net. Click on your color box and choose white. Click on your document and type out your word. To reposition your text, click on your move tool, click on your word and move it. At this point, go to your history window and press the arrow at the upper right. Click new snapshot. This will allow us later to quickly go back in history to the present stage of our document. Click Ctrl or Command E to merge these two layers together. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. Choose Wind from the left and then click OK. Let's duplicate this by pressing Ctrl or Command F. Go back to Filter stylize and wind. This time choose from the right. Click OK or press enter or return to activate the filter. Press Ctrl or Command F to duplicate it. Go to image, image rotation and choose 90 degrees clockwise. To see the entire document on your screen press Ctrl or Command 0. Apply the last filter to our text by pressing Ctrl or Command F. Since we've been applying this filter twice to each side of our text, press Ctrl or Command F a second time. Let's apply this filter to the last side now. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. This time choose the direction from the left and then press Enter or Return. Press Ctrl or Command F to apply the filter again. Go to Image, Image Rotation, and 90 degrees counterclockwise. Press Ctrl or Command 0, and then go to Filter, Distort, and Ripple. We'll choose 100% for the amount, and the size will be medium. Go to Image, Mode, and Grayscale click discard. Go to image, mode, and index color, and then image, mode, and color table. I found that if we bypassed either the grayscale or the index color modes we wouldn't get the precise effect we want. Click on the arrow next to grayscale and choose black body. Now that we changed the colors, we need to change the image mode back to RGB. Let's save this document. Go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. We'll click on the arrow in the Document window and click New. I'm typing in Sizzle Text. Click on the X of the tab to close the document and click Yes. A window will open asking you where and how you want to save the file. I'm choosing my desktop for the destination and JPEG as the type of file. Click Save and make sure you save it as a large file and the maximum quality. Go to your history window and scroll to the top section. Click on the snapshot we saved earlier. This will revert our document back to the point before we applied any filters to our text. Now go to File, Open, and click on the text we just saved. I'll click on Sizzle Text and then press Open. Press Ctrl or Command A to choose the entire image and Ctrl or Command C to copy it. Click on the original document to open it and press Ctrl or Command V to paste our affected text into it. Let's close our text window. Click on the background to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it. Hide the original type and the affected text layers. We're going to make the background look hot and steamy. 
Press the letter D to make your foreground and background colors black and white respectively. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Press Ctrl or Command L to call up your Levels window and type in 30 in the left input field and 100 in the right output field. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. Pick a bright red and change the blending mode to overlay. Click on the new layer icon and press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac to make a composite snapshot of this red steamy background. Click and drag the adjustment layer and the original cloud background into the trash since we don't need them anymore. Make the other layers visible now and click on the sizzle affected layer to make it active. We'll change the blending mode to screen. Drag the original type layer to the top. Let's change the original text color to black. Press the letter T to call up your type tool and highlight your text. Click on your black foreground color and press OK. Click on your Move tool. With your text layer active, click on the FX icon and choose Inner Glow. Make the Blend Mode Normal, click on the color box and choose a bright red. We'll increase the size to 18 pixels and the opacity at 75%. Go back to the Layers panel and change the Blend Mode to Dissolve. This will give our text a little bit of a charred, eroded look. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of this text and double click on Effects to open up the Layer Style window. Click on Outer Glow and change the Blend Mode to Dissolve. Click on the color box and choose a bright red. Play with the Outer Glow's size and opacity until you have just the right amount of sizzle burning off your text. Click on the Layer Mask icon and press the letter B to call up your brush tool. Brush back and forth to remove the lower sizzling emanations. We'll keep the effect only on the top of that word. Notice they seem to move up as you brush them away. This is because the blend mode is dissolve. To make your brush smaller, press the left bracket key. Click on the type to make it active and then go to Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters. This window will pop up. Just click OK. Click on the new layer icon. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds, and then back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Click on the layer mask icon, and then press Ctrl or Command plus I to invert it. Press X to reverse the foreground and background colors, and B to call up your brush tool. Brush across the top to reveal the smoke coming off our text. Using these techniques, have fun creating your own sizzling hot text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.